Hello and welcome to this web-based student organization driver policy and safety training. All student organization members who wish to drive for their student organization are required to take this training before operating a university vehicle. At the conclusion of this video, you will be required to take a short quiz to confirm your knowledge of the material presented in this training. Upon successful completion of the quiz, you will be an approved driver for your student organization at Iowa State for as long as you are an Iowa State student. Here are some facts about Iowa State University's transportation services. There are over 550 vehicles in the fleet, and the fleet travels over 6 million miles a year. A manager is on call 24-7 to assist drivers. The fueling stations at transportation services are open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Transportation services dispatched over 11,000 vehicles last year in the daily pool. Transportation Services is located on Haber Road, just north of the single-lane Haber Road Tunnel under the railroad tracks north of campus, and is also east of the Fredrickson Court Apartments. You'll recognize it both for the fuel pumps out front, as well as the dozens of Iowa State vehicles parked all around it. The mission of Iowa State University's Transportation Services is to provide safe, economical, and appropriate transportation to Iowa State University faculty and staff to perform their official duties. That mission is extended to recognized Iowa State student organizations as well, but it is good to remember that the priority when handling vehicle reservations is for faculty, staff, and university departments. Student organizations may need to be flexible with their vehicle reservations as a result. Transportation Services has a variety of vehicles available for student organizations to rent. Those include compact cars, mid-size cars, pickup trucks, seven passenger minivans, eight passenger suburbans, 15 passenger vans as well as cargo vans. Please note that in order to drive a 15 passenger van an additional training is required beyond this training. Further, if you plan to tow a trailer behind a suburban, pickup truck, or van additional training is also required. At the successful completion of this training you will be eligible to drive all university vehicles without trailers with the exception of 15 passenger vans. In regards to van and trailer training, you can find the link to sign up for that training on the Transportation Services or Risk Management websites, as the training is now within the Student Organization Travel Authorization System, or SOTA. The 15-passenger van training is in two parts. The first part is an online course in the Student Organization Travel Authorization System, or SOTA. You can see from the screenshot here that the course is called Large Passenger Van and Vehicles Towing Trailers Driving Training. This online training must be taken first. Once you have taken the 15 passenger van course in SOTA, you can sign up for the second part of the training, an in-person driving observation managed by Transportation Services. After completing the 15 passenger van and trailer training once, you will be approved to drive a 15 passenger van or a trailer for as long as you are a student at Iowa State. Something you must also complete in order to drive university vehicles is a motor vehicle record check, or MVR. You can find the link to submit your MVR on the Transportation Services website. You must keep this record check current as it must be repeated every 12 months. Motor vehicle checks are handled by Iowa State's background check vendor known as Hirewright. When you submit your MVR online, you will receive an email from Hirewright that you must respond to in order for your MVR to be processed. An example of the email you will receive is shown here. When you respond to this email, you will be required to provide additional personal information for your MVR to be processed, so we want you to be comfortable that the email you receive is legitimate and a part of the Iowa State University MVR approval process. It is important to remember that motor vehicle record checks are not instantaneous and may take several days to process. If you enter an MVR on the day your trip is scheduled to depart, it is extremely unlikely your MVR will be approved in time. Also remember that out-of-state MVRs can take significantly longer to process as we must comply with that state's MVR approval procedures. Concerning your MVR, the university is looking for whether you have required SR insurance, whether you have had two speeding tickets in the last 12 months, two accidents in the last 12 months, or a combination of speeding tickets and accidents in the last 12 months, alcohol-related offenses, or felony driving convictions, or pending charges. You will be approved or denied based on your record and those approvals last 12 months. You will be required to renew your MVR every 12 months and please remember that out-of-state licenses may take substantially longer to approve 
so you should submit a new record check before your current MVR expires. Why are you here? Because you want to be a driver for your student organization's upcoming trip, and we recognize that your travel is beneficial to your experience at Iowa State. Further, we want you all to be safe drivers. Unfortunately, we do hear about unsafe driving practices of student organizations at Iowa State. They have included speeding, and often speeding at the encouragement of others in the vehicle. Accidents have occurred in university vehicles, and also inappropriate behavior is sometimes reported in our vehicles. In the age of digital videos and dash cams, this behavior does sometimes get reported to the university. Unsafe driving practices can cause consequences for student organizations. Those can include loss of permission to drive university vehicles. Further, Iowa State purchases separate vehicle insurance for student organizations, and the cost of this insurance is absorbed by the university administration. Unsafe driving practices or accidents could cause this cost to rise and become greater than the university is willing or able to pay. Also, unsafe driving practices reflect negatively on Iowa State University. Ultimately, we want you to make safety a priority. Here are some statistics from the Department of Transportation detailing five things that will make you a safer driver. Slow down, drive sober, focus on the road, stay alert, and buckle your seatbelt. We expect all our student organization participants to keep these in mind when they rent university vehicles. Who is allowed in ISU vehicles? All passengers must be listed in the Student Organization Travel Authorization System before a student organization trip can be approved. Only members of your organization currently listed in the Student Organization Database will show up as eligible passengers in the travel system. Authorized passengers also include university faculty and staff traveling with student organizations and volunteers approved by the Office of Risk Management. Below you can see a sample screen of a trip in the SOTA system with passengers listed and their travel waivers approved. Who is not allowed in ISU vehicles? Unauthorized passengers include student organization members not listed in the SOTA system, spouses, children, and other family members of organization participants, friends and roommates, neighbors, and members of the general public. Where do I park? University vehicles cannot park on campus without the proper permits. Parking and transportation services are two separate Iowa State University departments. Parking at a personal residence is prohibited, and parking at the airport for extended periods of time is not an economical use of transportation services vehicles and is not allowed in most cases. If you keep a vehicle at the airport, you make that vehicle unavailable for other groups to rent and use. Smoking is not allowed in Iowa State University vehicles. This policy includes all types of e-cigarettes. No alcoholic beverages or beverage containers open or closed are allowed in Iowa State University vehicles. Alcohol cannot be consumed within eight hours prior to driving for not only the driver but also the participants and passengers in an Iowa State vehicle for a student organization trip. Rules and criteria for vehicles. The maximum number of people in any vehicle must not exceed the number of seat belts in that vehicle. And all passengers are required to use seat belts regardless of state and federal regulations. As far as pickup trucks are concerned, riding in the bed of a truck is not allowed. Please remember that the public perception of Iowa State University is affected by the manner in which you operate a university vehicle. Common sense must be used as to how vehicles are operated and where they are parked. Further, you must follow federal and state regulations while driving, including those that govern individual actions. Iowa State University vehicles are easily identifiable, and Iowa State alumni from all over the country have been known to call the university or transportation services directly in the case of an ISU vehicle being operated in an unsafe manner. Also, Iowa State University vehicles are not for personal use. When selecting the number of drivers for your trip, you must have enough drivers to allow for a four-hour maximum driving time for an individual driver, two-hour driving breaks for drivers after they have driven their initial four hours, and no driver can drive more than 10 hours per person per day. 
Further, an alert passenger in the front seat must be available to help the driver with navigation and monitoring the driver's fatigue. It is illegal to text while driving or browse the internet while driving. Further, no phone calls while driving are allowed unless you are using a hands-free unit. Drivers are required to stop and park the vehicle to initiate a conversation in an Iowa State University vehicle. The alert passenger in the front seat can also help with electronics usage. Travel is not allowed between 1 a.m. and 5 a.m. At this time of the evening, other drivers are more likely to be impaired or drowsy, it is more likely for animals to be in the roadway, and visibility is worse. Further, it is more likely during this time that the ISU driver will become fatigued. Usage and transportation of hazardous materials in university vehicles must be approved by the Office of Risk Management as well as the Department of Environmental Health and Safety at Iowa State University. Usage and transportation of firearms, weapons, and or explosives must also be approved by the Office of Risk Management as well as the Department of Environmental Health and Safety. International travel to Mexico or Canada is possible in university vehicles for student organizations. However, this travel must be approved in advance by the Office of Risk Management and also by Transportation Services to ensure you have the proper insurance documentation. International travel by student organizations often involves approvals from various Iowa State departments, so it is imperative that you plan far in advance of your event or trip. Use good judgment when driving during adverse weather conditions. If you don't feel comfortable driving, please call Transportation Services and let them know where you are. If adverse weather causes you to be late returning your vehicle, please call Transportation Services and let them know your updated itinerary and when you will be able to return your vehicle. All luggage must be secured within the vehicle or the trailer. Luggage must be dispersed evenly within the vehicle to equalize the load. If your vehicle is full of passengers or luggage, Transportation Services may require you to pull a trailer for your luggage. Trailers owned by Transportation Services may be used by student organizations if available. Transportation Services must also approve the use of all commercially rented, privately owned, manufactured, homemade, or donated trailers that student organizations may wish to use, and has the authority to deny the use of any trailer. What should you do in the case of an accident? Stop. Do not leave the scene of an accident. Render aid or assistance to injured and call 911. If you are injured, please see a doctor. Also, all accidents involving ISU vehicles must be reported to Transportation Services. All accidents involving injury or death must be reported immediately to the nearest law enforcement agency and to the ISU Department of Public Safety. Exchange information between drivers and complete the information exchange sheet in the vehicle accident report. Obtain the names, addresses, and phone numbers of any witnesses. Also, complete an online incident report on the risk management webpage within 24 hours. Finally, be sure to notify your supervisor or your student organization advisor. If the accident results in injury or death of any person or total damages of over $1,000, the Iowa DOT accident report form must also be filled out within 72 hours after the accident and the form should be available from an investigating officer. The insurance information for your vehicle, along with the registration for the vehicle, can be found in the vehicle's glove box. If you are involved in an accident in an Iowa State University vehicle, do not admit liability. Do not say things like, it's all my fault, or I didn't see you there. Do not attempt to settle your own claim. And further, you are not authorized to agree to any settlement with another party or their insurance company. Student organization vehicle rentals are now in the kiosks in Transportation Services Building. When you enter the building, on the left is the kiosks for 15 passenger vans, trucks, SUVs, and trailers, and on the right, cars and minivans. In order to use the kiosks within Transportation Services, you must have a profile in Agile Fleet Commander, you must have a current MVR check, and you must have the confirmation number from the Student Organization Travel Authorization System. Upon final trip approval, the confirmation numbers for your vehicles will be sent to the trip coordinator as well as the president, treasurer, and advisor of your student organization. Don't forget that trailers have confirmation numbers as well.
The only way student organization members can retrieve vehicles from transportation services is with the confirmation numbers, so it is imperative that your trip coordinator share those confirmation numbers with drivers of the vehicles before the vehicles are set to be picked up at transportation services. Let's create a profile in Agile Fleet Commander. You'll start by going to the Transportation Services homepage and clicking on Online Reservation Form. This is the Agile Fleet Commander login page. Instead of logging in, you'll click Sign Up Now under First Time Users. This is the User Registration page. You'll start here by marking ISU Transportation Services as the site you're registering for. Next, you'll include other useful information, such as your name, and be sure to include here your ISU Net ID. Under Department, you're going to select Student Organization as that is the organization you are driving a university vehicle for. You'll further include your address at Iowa State, a phone number we can reach you at, as well as your Iowa State email address. You'll also need to include your date of birth. Under supervisor name, you'll actually include your student organization advisor's name, their phone number, and their email address. Next, be sure to include your driver's license expiration date, as well as the issuing state. Finally, you'll mark your student status. At the bottom of the form, you'll want to include the text here exactly as it appears, and then click Save Registration. You'll receive an email when your registration is complete. Let's check out a vehicle from the kiosk. Touch anywhere to begin, click Check Out Vehicle, and enter your username and password. You will see a screen that says No Approved Reservations Found, and you'll click the button Check Out by Confirmation Number. The vehicle will display. When checking out the vehicle, please note the parking stall number on the left side of the screen. There is a map above the kiosk to guide you where your vehicle is parked. Click Check Out. You'll wait until you hear a click, and the kiosk where your key is located will have a green light that lights up. Open the kiosk and find your key, also with a green light display. Turn the key a quarter turn to the left and remove both the key and the card then secure the cabinet before leaving. To return your keys, you'll click anywhere on the screen to begin, click Check in Vehicle, and enter your username and password. You'll see a screen that says No Reservations Can Be Found, and you'll click Help, My Reservation Is Not Shown. You will enter the white number on the keycard holder on your vehicle's keys to check in your vehicle. You'll select the vehicle, enter the ending mileage, and you will also enter the parking space where you park the vehicle. You'll click Check In, and you'll hear a click on the cabinet, and a green light will show which cabinet you are to return your keys to. Open the cabinet, find the green light marking the key location, and enter the key card holder, number facing up, and then enter the key and turn one quarter turn to the right. Secure the cabinet before leaving. Let's cover checking vehicles out and in from the kiosks one more time. Since you are renting as a student organization, your reservations are not under your username and password, even though you need to enter your username and password to access the system. Rather, you will access your student organization vehicle reservations by confirmation number. Your confirmation number will be emailed to your trip coordinator and advisor and treasurer when your trip is approved. Your trip coordinator will need to notify drivers picking up vehicles of their confirmation numbers before you arrive at transportation services. To check out a vehicle by confirmation number, you'll log into Fleet Commander at the kiosks at transportation services, and you'll see the notice, No Approved Reservations Found. You will click the button, Check Out Via Confirmation Number, to access your vehicle reservations. In order to return your vehicle to the cabinet and kiosks in transportation services, you will actually need the white number on your vehicle's keys card holder. When you log into the kiosks to return your vehicle, you will see a message that says no dispatch reservations can be found. 
You'll click Help My Vehicle is Not Shown, and you'll enter the number listed on the white tag on the card holder. This will pull up the reservation, allowing you to check it in. You will also need to enter the ending mileage and the parking space you parked the vehicle in upon returning. Check your WEX card before fueling. If you have a yellow sticker, this means that you'll be using the E85 pumps located in the west side of the parking lot. If your WEX card does not have a yellow sticker, you'll be using the pumps located at the front of the Iowa State Transportation Services Center. Simply walk up to the pump and insert your WEX card. Be sure to secure the card in the card holder. Enter your driver ID, the miles on the odometer, and finally the hose number. Remove the nozzle and be sure to lift the handle. You can then begin fueling your vehicle. Remember, you must always refuel your vehicle upon returning it to Transportation Services before you check your keys in at the kiosk. University vehicles may only be used for official student organization travel and not for personal use. All student organizations must comply with the Iowa State University Fleet Safety Policy as well as all federal and state regulations that govern vehicle use. Operating a university vehicle is a privilege for student organizations at Iowa State. Transportation Services or the Office of Risk Management all have the authority to approve or deny any request for the use of university vehicles. You are held to a higher standard in an ISU vehicle than when you are driving your own. And of course, your safety is our priority. This concludes the student organization driving policy and safety training. Remember, you must complete the short quiz successfully in order to be an approved driver for your student organization at Iowa State University. Have a good trip!